Alrighty, so we are doing Gauss's Law in 3, 2, and 1 dimensions. So the beginning of this question gives us Gauss's Law right here. It doesn't spell it out. And then the body of the question itself is very long, so I highlighted what I thought was the most important. So it is the shortcut for Gauss's Law, which says that it's also equal to ER times AR in this specific case. And then the first question is determine the magnitude of ER through Gauss's law. So as we can see up here, normally um, Gauss's law, phi E is equal to Q enclosed over E naught. And then as you can see up in the paragraph, the shortcut is equal to ER times A R. So this is for A, this is what we're gonna use. So we have a surface, so AR is surface area sphere, which is 4 pi R squared. And so then we have, we're just going to go ahead and solve this for E times 4 pi R squared is equal to Q enclosed over E naught. Go ahead and just put that in terms of the, or 4 E, and you get EO times 4 pi R squared. And this is your answer for A, which is just solving for it. And there's no values, so you're just leaving it in the symbols. Now let's go down to B. This is asking you, it is still expanding for E, but this is going to be an expression. And we're using a cylinder with a charge density of lambda. And it tells us some hints in the body, if you want to read those. So we still have... This nice thing, the E R times A R equals Q enclosed over E naught. But A R in this case is the surface area sphere. So we get 2 pi R H, which is going to be this whole body of the sphere, the big part, plus 2 pi R squared, which are the ends. Pi R squared is a circle, and there's two of those. However, in this case, the electric field is coming from this wire and it's pointing out of the wire in all directions. So these ends are actually parallel to the electric field, so there's no flux. So we don't have to look at them. So now our AR is 2 pi R and our height is L in this case, so 2 pi R L. And then we have Q enclosed, which for this case is lambda L. Q enclosed is a charge. Lambda is a charge per length. So multiply that by length, and you are left with your charge from Q enclosed. So this is lambda, and this is L to get Q, because Q is a charge. So we have E times 2 pi R L equals lambda over L over E naught. The L's are going to cancel out and we look at E equals lambda over 2 pi R E naught. And that is your answer for B. Now for C, it's once again asking for this expression of EZ, but we are using this diagram. It's a cylinder, but now the electric field is vertical. So the electric field is now pointing out this way in this way, because this is positive and points away from positive. So these red arrows are actually the direction of the electric field. So now you can still use the same equation that gave us this very nicely for a reason. But AR in this case, um, so since it's pointing out the electric field out to the left and the right, now this part, this long part that goes all the way around is actually parallel. So we're only looking at the ends of 2 pi r squared. It's the only parts we're looking at, but we'll just call that a for now. So q enclosed this time is equal to omega a, because that's the density it gave us. Instead of lambda, we have omega. And this is just from the equation, omega equals q over a which Q for us is charge, but you can rearrange this to get Q equals omega A. So we're gonna have our E times A 
your area. But this one can be of two because there's two ends on the left and the right. So we'll multiply by two. And then you get Q enclosed, which is omega A over E naught. So the A's actually cancel out. So this whole part doesn't even matter. But then you get E equals omega over two E naught. And that is your answer for C.